You guys already probably know this by now, but guilt is a huge contributor to depression and anxiety. And I struggle with that an awful lot because I'm so Catholic and because I have OCD tendencies that I ruminate over thoughts. And I can't seem to let it go, even after somebody has forgiven me. So at my last therapy appointment, we talked about some visualizations, again, to help me try and let go of some of the guilt. I decided to gather a backpack full of all the things that I feel guilty about. This was my therapist's suggestion. And to gradually take one of the rocks out one by one. So, for example, the biggest rock in my backpack is this one. It is titled Perfect Mom. And every time I feel like I'm letting the kids watch too much TV or I've let them eat too much sugar or I haven't put enough sunscreen on them, I feel the heaviness of that rock. And this week I've been trying to visualize taking that heavy rock out of my backpack so it feels less heavy. The second heaviest one in my backpack is a rock called Perfect Blogger. Now this means that I want to be more than I am to all of you and I want to do more with my blog than I'm capable of doing. I think being trying to be a devoted mom and a devoted wife, I have to um, make boundaries, but I, I often feel cut short of what I want to do. And so lately this week when I've been feeling that way, again, I try to visualize taking out that rock from my backpack. Some of them are smaller. This one is called Perfect Spouse. And I feel this one a lot when I'm grumpy with Eric, and I'm just not all that much fun to be around. I feel the weight of not being a perfect spouse. I have a couple other little ones in here for right now, and this says dogs, um, because ever since we had the kids, our dogs have been neglected. Um, and I'm trying to find a way to give them a walk every day, but it's just not happening, so I feel guilty about that. This one says perfect friend. That's because I've been um, having some uh, issues with a friend, and I feel very badly about not being there for her when she needed me. So, after I take out all of the rocks in my backpack. <clears throat> I still may have the backpack. I may never really get rid of the backpack. That's called guilt. But it can have just a few little rocks inside instead of the huge, cumbersome, heavy ones that I carry on my back so much of the time. So if you try this experiment, good luck.